Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we have a new lip product video for you. Today we are testing out two of the FMG Cashmere Lip Cream, and this one's really interesting because it has a kind of like a, a, a a split so there's the pigment on the outside and in the inner core there's supposed to be this soft balm like hydrating core which is kind of cool i haven't opened this up yet i had a few customers buy it and i had a couple of those customers rebuy it so i was like all right high time to try this jess because I mean, I just gotta try more lip products, right? The full name for this particular product is actually the FMG Cashmere Essence Lip Cream, and it is an anti-aging lipstick that is ultra moisturizing with a soft core that's supposed to hydrate your lips and protect your lips while giving you this a beautiful high shine rich color pigmentation so uh, the features of it is that it has a melting balm like texture which is kind of interesting and it's supposed to glide on super smooth plus um, according to Avon, it's going to wrap your lips in a luscious shine and comfort Mmm, sounds delicious. The coverage it is a medium to full coverage because it is buildable. It's also gluten free. It's a vegan product and it's available in 10 high shine shades. Now there is an offshoot of this particular line, which is the FMG Cashmere Lip Cream Matte. And that has nine different shades, but I didn't get any of those ones for you to see today. If you're interested in seeing that, you can always go down to the link in the description box below to check out the different shades that are available there. But um, let's get on into the key ingredients of this before I swatch and apply on my lips. There are four main key ingredients in this particular product. One is the bioretinol complex, which helps to improve lip hydration and um, protect your lips while keeping your lips looking youthful. And then there's the ginseng cell extract, which helps to enhance the appearance of dry lips as well as to restore suppleness. So it's gonna help soften your lips as well. There's also the Metafoam Seed Extract, which provides antioxidant benefits and creates a protective barrier on your lips so that it helps to prevent further dryness. And of course, vitamin E for its antioxidant benefits. So lots of great stuff. Perfect for people who are looking for this like super yummy, luxurious lipstick with um, premium anti-aging benefits. So you're looking for a lipstick that looks good, but it's also going to make you look good and be healthy for you, as well as those who are looking for lip products that uh, nourish and also take care of your lips, which is pretty much what I just said. Now, at first I was like, what is a lip cream? I was doing a little digging. I checked out this website called herworld.com and she actually goes through and talks about different like different things like uh, matte lipsticks, stains, balms, and things, etc. But I think that is just a fancy way of calling basically a lipstick, I think, yeah. I don't know, it could just be a fancy name for colleagues, but we're gonna find out because maybe the texture is a little bit different. Maybe it won't last as long because it's like it's halfway between a lipstick and a lip balm. I don't know, but we're gonna find out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna find out. So here it <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> the two shades that I got to test out today was Plush Peony and cheeky red so there's a nice probably like a pinky color and a reddish color which is fun i i need to get a new purple lipstick though let's open up these beauties here and see what it's all about i kind of know what it looks like because i've seen a lot of it in the actual brochure itself but i haven't tested it out on its own so here we go Ooh, super sleek i like it like it look at this Pretty, very pretty, very sleek, very thin. It actually does look more like the shape of a lip balm than it does my traditional lipstick, which is fine. It's going to be looking nice in my drawer because I have a huge collection of lip products. You guys know that one day I should just lay out all of my lipsticks and lip products and show you guys. I, I have a fairly extensive collection considering I am not a makeup artist. I am just... <sighs> a lipstick addict. Gotta come clean. All right, anywho. So let's first swat the plush peony. Here we go. We're going, oh, wow. 
that's a lot brighter than I thought. Look at that. It looks beautiful, but it looks really, really, really bright. I wasn't expecting it to be such a fuchsia -y color. Mm. All right, let's sniff it. Yeah, I don't smell a thing. I don't smell anything whatsoever. The outer core, it's... It's the color, the inner core is that anti-aging, hydrating, and protecting balm-like product. So here's a swatch of it. So this is the Pink Peony. Okay. Okay, okay. Here's a Pink Peony. It's definitely really high shiny. All right, and let's try it on my lips. Ah. Okay. Oh, it's beautifully bright. Okay, so. Mmm. It's really bright. But it's also really nice. It feels really nice, guys. Like, I don't smell anything. But it feels... It feels quite balm-like. It, it's very moist and hydrating. It's... Silky on the lips. Yeah, it's silky on the lips. It's not like buttery like the birthday bombs but it's definitely silky on the lips now I am gonna say though because it is a quite moist texture and I don't think it's going to dry down if you tend to have feathering on your lips and I mean by all means normally if you want to have longer lasting lipstick and get more wear of it you should probably line and fill your lips before applying this I'm lazy and I tend not to usually <laughs> But it feels really beautiful. Like really, really, really nice. I am going to try the other one, the Cheeky Red, and then I'm going to leave it on for a few hours while I work throughout the night. I have a cup of tea here, and we're going to test out, see the, the longevity of this particular product. Yeah, it feels great. Like, it's so comfortable and it's not sticky. I like it. Let's do a taste test. Don't taste anything. Doesn't fill my mouth with any sort of aroma or anything. But also, you can tell right away that it's not going to be transfer free. And that's okay. Again, as long as I know, it's fine. So let's do a test. Yeah, it comes off. See? But that's okay. Mm, I like it. It's a really fun summery shade. Now let's swatch the cheeky red. So like I said, there are a total of 10 shades available. Everything from like a super light nude, which is called Daydreamer, to more of a, it, according to the website, it looks almost like a purpley, it's called Cherry Rush. So it looks like it has a little bit more purples in it, which is actually going to be a trending color for fall. Like a little bit like the purple and the red, like the Bordeaux and everything, the wine colors. It's going to be a trending color from what I read in the fall. So if you're looking for a trendy fall color, Hit that one up. Okay, here is the Cheeky Red. It is a vegan product because I know sometimes with the reds we are concerned whether or not it's a vegan product, but yes, these are vegan products here. You know what the funny thing is? It almost looks cartoony. Before I apply it, it almost looks cartoony. All right, so let's do a swatch. Here we go. Ooh, it's almost orangey. Hmm, I don't know how much I'm gonna like this one on my lips as much, but that's okay, we're gonna find out. And Avon has a fantastic guarantee program. So guys, if you don't know already, if you buy a lipstick from Avon, or most of our products anyways, if you try it and you don't love it, you can return or exchange it. Just make sure you reach out to your representative within 30 days of receiving the product. All right, so check with your representative what their return policy is, but we do have a really great guarantee, product, uh, guarantee on all our products, guys. All right, here we go. Let's try out this red. If it works out, this will be a fantastic holiday shade. I like the shape of it. Because the shape, look at it fits my cupid's bow like perfectly. This red is a lot more orangey than I thought it would be. It is super orangey. I don't know if I love it on me, but I have friends who would look fantastic in this particular shade. 
I just don't know if I'm that person. Which one do you guys like more, the peony blush or this cheeky red? It's bright. Super duper bright. But it's kind of fun at the same time. Feels fantastic. Really enjoy the feel. You know what? There's actually a lot more pigment to this than I was expecting. I was actually expecting it to be a little less pigmented and a little bit more sheer. Probably because of that, you know, the bioretinol core. I thought that would like eat up some of the pigment. But you know what? I guess I was wrong. And I will admit that I'm wrong when I'm wrong. So anyways, I am going to wear this for the next few hours to see how long it lasts for. It's not going to be a, you know, like... 17 hour type of a lip product, but I am going to give it a shot for a few hours and see and drink my tea and also do some editing work and go from there. So we'll be back in a bit. See you soon. All right. Hey guys, welcome back. It is now two hours and 10 minutes later. I have finished one cup of tea and on my second cup of tea, as you can see from the different colors of lipstick. This was from the earlier trial and this is from me drinking my actual hot beverage. So, um, I have done that. I have worked, I have blown my nose and I've had a little bit of a cheater snack because I'm supposed to be fasting right now, but I'm not. Oops. Anywho, this is how the lipstick has lasted and how it's kind of like held out over these last two hours and 15-ish minutes. Um, it actually stayed on a lot better than I thought. I thought it would, more of it would come off. It did leave a bit of a stain. Really comfortable wear. Like I still feel that it feels pretty hydrating considering, you know, I've done all that I've done. So I am really happy with the texture of the product, how it lays on and all that jazz. The only thing is I don't know if I 100% love this particular shade, but that's an easy fix too. I can always blend it with another shade that I really like. For example, if I want to deepen it a little bit to make it a little less orangey, I just add a little bit of this fine wine. Let's stick here, the lip balm. Give it a little bit of mix root. Ooh, see, now I like it. It just gives it a little bit more dimension. So, I mean, I always find a way to mix up my lipsticks to still love them, which is fantastic. Overall, I am happy with this lipstick. I would recommend this to anybody who is looking for a super nourishing, hydrating lipstick and you're interested in anti-aging properties in the lipstick, such as, you know, ginseng extract, oh, sorry, ginseng cell extract, vitamin E, metafoam, and bio and a bioretinol core. Don't fully know what that means yet, but guys, it's like past 1 a.m. and I'm getting pretty sleepy, so. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing all 10 shades that are available or learning more about this product, make sure you do go to the link down in the description box below. And then while you're there, check out the Joint Avon button to see if whether or not an online Avon business would be right for you. If you have any further questions before you get started, make sure you do reach out to me on either Instagram or Facebook, and we can set up a free, no obligation, 15 minute just to chat about the business to see whether or not it's right for you. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you do hit the subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video and a notification. I do have new videos up every single week and I never want you to miss one of those. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!